Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescopes. Well, I hope at least one of them on YouTube. And thank you for everybody that subscribed to my channel, and thank you for everybody that's hung on to my channel from the beginning. So, this is not, okay, a 8-inch heritage uh, telescope. I know the title says that, and hopefully you're not too... Uh, pissed off about it. This is the six inch. Now, why the title uh, says that is because, as you guys know, I've done four videos with this guy here. Four videos pre going to my trip. Uh, I did a couple of videos on it on the trip that I went to Mexico. That those two are on the members forum. If you want to go see those, check it out. You got to become a member. And then I did uh, another one of these, what I thought after the trip. It survived. It survived the trip. Everything went well. And so I was kind of thinking on that last video, I was saying, what about maybe taking an eight inch? And I was just thinking, I wonder if Skywatcher is gonna make a eight inch heritage like this. Now, some of you, are probably going to say, but wait a minute, they have the Sky Watcher has the flex tube, the 8, 10, and 12 type of thing. But those are different. Those, first of all, those are, the 8-inch model is F6, not F5. Now, also, now if you look at the Heritage models, the top is very thin. Well, let me just take that cap off. It's literally about an inch. The upper cage, the upper cage is about an inch or so. And that's why they have to have this kind of focuser on here. Now, on the flex tube, um, I believe, I don't have one. So you guys tell me how big is that upper cage part. Now I'm probably thinking it's about 13, 14 inches. So much bigger. The bottom part, again, I don't have it. You guys tell me, what is that top um, cage, the length of it, and what is the bottom? But I think the bottom one is probably about 24 to 26 inches, okay? So, um, and also, if you, you guys tell me, I think it only collapses about 14 or 15 inches is my guess. Tell me if I'm right. So, the 8-inch flex tube will not fit in a suitcase. Now, my suitcase is the... I guess the larger ones, I believe it's about 29 inches. I think I showed it to you guys. Um, I think it's about 29, 29 inches or so. So I think a if they do make a Heritage 8 inch F5, so again, it would be, uh, again, the same thing. Uh, F2.5 would be the, at its most compactness, I hope that's a word, it's F2.5. Now, I never actually measured uh, like the six inch. So really, if I've, I've, I've said it in a few videos, it should be F2.5 collapsed, and then the extended should go up to F5. But I never actually measured it. Now, if it's right, six times two is uh, 612, and then half of six is about 15 uh, inches. So let's check it out. Now, I'm not gonna do it to the bottom of the table, because the uh, collimation and locking screws actually come down uh, about an inch or more. It's too bad it uh, didn't uh, go inside, uh, or I guess that's uh, the mirror cell would have to be further in. But anyway, let's just measure this. From the tube, 16 inches. So it's off by about an inch, and then it expands to, let's just see. So this easily fit, I've shown you guys before, in the suitcase. Now, the eight inch flex tube, there's no way it would fit. Um, so that's why I was thinking if, and maybe if you guys think this is, if you like it, what do you guys think? What if we all call Skywatch or email them or whatever and tell them we want an eight inch 
Skywatcher Heritage. So again, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. My thinking is gonna be for an eight inch, okay? Let's extrapolate this. Eight inch, it's gonna be again F5 total, so which means folded would be F2.5. Now eight, 16, uh, and then half of eight is uh, 20 inches. And let's say we give another inch for these um, top part here to hold the spider, the focuser, that the mounting bracket, let's say. So if this is like 16, it's gonna be uh, 20 inches, let's say 21 inches would be about there. Now my suitcase is a large one. I think it's about 29, 30 inches roughly. So I think an eight inch, if they make one, I could probably fit that on an airplane. Now, I know, as you know, as you guys know, I have a lot of other telescopes. I have a lot of other telescopes, but they serve different purposes. Now, for traveling on an airplane, if I could take a full eight inch, an F5 is fairly big. And if it folds down, like the Heritage, that would solve a lot of problems. Would you guys take one on a plane if they made um, an eight inch Heritage? Okay. So on that other video, I was saying, could I go bigger? Because six inches good, but could I go a full eight inch? Now I was kind of thinking, okay, a lot of companies make a, and that's why the Dobsonians usually are F6 models. So even longer and the equatorial mounts, eight inches are normally about F5, one focal ratio smaller, making it a bit more portable. Now at F5, I think coma is pretty good. I normally don't use any coma correctors for an F5. So I was thinking, okay, I don't have one, but you guys tell me if I'm right. An F5 reflecting telescope, eight inch of course, is gonna be about minimum 36, but I think it's gonna be, uh, well, if you times eight times five, uh, you, I get about 40 inches. So. This looks like it's about roughly what I remember when I did have an eight inch reflecting telescope. You guys tell me, any of you guys out there have an eight inch reflecting telescope, the F5 model, can you guys measure that too? I'm getting, you know, my guess is, well, just a calculation say it's 40 inches, but it could be maybe as low as 36. And the reason is because a lot of the time the tube is not that full, uh, length because remember it is also the focal the focal point is probably coming a few inches beyond the focuser so that's taking up a few inches so it could be my guess is 36 inches um, but the formula says it's uh, 40 inches what what's the right one so I'm almost positive that will not fit okay in a suitcase. They do make eight inch F4 reflecting telescopes now. Um, so again, the formula says we get 32 inches. Again, my suitcase being 29 inches, I think is pretty much as big as they go. Really like astrographs made for imaging. You could use it for visual. It's gonna have lots of coma, but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in a suitcase. Uh, you guys tell me, Can you, if you guys have that one, can you measure the 8 inch F4? What is the length of that tube? So this is where I was thinking, I'm wondering if Skywatcher will come out with a Heritage 8 inch. Again, it's probably going to fold down to about 20 inches, 21 inches, which is still uh, a 29 inch suitcase. Lots of room for padding, um, top and bottom and around it, uh, and maybe I don't know what this weighs. Um, actually, why not just go weigh it? Then we can kind of extrapolate what an eight inch could probably be weighed. Be back. Okay, this is nine pounds, this guy here. Um, so I'm thinking nine pounds for the six inch version. What would be the eight inch version? My guess would be probably about 13, 14 pounds there 14 maybe 15 pounds max that is still very doable and at about 20 21 inches uh you know that's still doable to go in a suitcase as long as again i would pad it very well what do you guys think do you like that idea would you buy one if 
they came out within the six inch. I think I would. So again, I don't think the, the full two versions of the eight inch F5 is gonna fit or the eight inch F4. Uh, if the eight inch F4 does fit, it's just gonna fit. Probably gonna be more heavier since it's solid tube, uh, but they're very expensive uh, type of thing. So I would love if they came out with, you know, an eight inch uh, heritage, that would be awesome. What do you guys think? So that's what I'm hoping and just bringing it out there for you guys. Even if I go to like a Bordeaux Zone 5, maybe a 4, uh, you know, something like that where it's not truly dark, but it's not super bad, uh, the 8 inch will just help me see that stuff. Now, I know in the other video I said 50% more light gathering power. I believe it's 77, 78% more light gathering power, which makes a good difference. Oh, that's it, guys. So I just thought I'd share and see, uh, or maybe maybe some of you guys have heard in the grapevine that maybe they're coming out with one. I don't know if they would, because again, they have the flex tube, but again, that one's totally different. That one does not extend 50% like this one does. Okay, that one extends only about 13 inches, roughly. The upper cage, is, I think it's about 13, 14 inches. The bottom is probably 24 to 26. So that could never be uh, an airport uh, or a traveling or uh, an airplane type of case in a suitcase. There's no way that that would be. That's it for this video. Thought I'd see if you guys would be interested in something like that. Now, for you guys that don't know, I have a members forum now, which is only 99 cents. And I post at least one video a month at least so you're getting your 99 cents worth plus i'm in the description i will have your name there joe jaguar like comment and subscribe if you know anybody that would like to get into astronomy i have well over 190 videos probably getting close to 200 videos more than enough to someone to get started and find help in whatever subject they uh, want to know if you're on the forums and somebody's maybe asked a question that I have a video on, please share my link uh, as well. Why not you? Why not me?